Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and the G-Lock Bar. So, uh, grab yourself a drink and stand by for my picks of some more Star Citizen news from the past week or so. First up, we've got the usual Star Marine update. Now it's an excuse to get some more Crisis in there. But basically, um, there's been updates on merging the game streams. So basically, the game is on a single development build. And also, there's been updates to the UI, the animation, and the network as well. Now, also being worked on is what they're calling a new headquarters type gameplay mode. Now, uh, one uh, upside of Star Marine taking a lot longer is that they decided to uh, ditch standard team deathmatch or deathmatch and go with a uh, objective mode, which is, uh, in my opinion, much better suited to the type of uh, gameplay in Star Marine. Threat level is now on elevated. Well, we know that Arb Corp is very much a work in progress. Uh, and this week in Around the Verse, uh, Jake Ross talked about uh, some of the uh, improvements and features they hope to add in the uh, coming updates. So I'm here today to talk to you about uh, our mocap shoot that we um, just wrapped up on Friday. We had a little mini mocap shoot actually here in Austin. Uh, with our, our lead animator Brian Brewer was there. One of our designers, Rob Reiniger, was also there. A couple of our other animators were there helping out to capture more emotes uh, for you guys. So we're hopefully going to be uh, aiming for 25 more emotes uh, to put in for our next release so you guys can express yourselves in, uh, in more ways than just um, seven. Uh, so uh, look for that uh, here in the next um, release and we'll be adding audio to those emotes as well. So not only will you be able to express yourself, but you will be able to uh, express yourself audibly as well. So, um, lastly, we'll be we're working on some uh, environment tweaks, um, adding adju adjusting the lighting here and there. We're adding some clouds up in the sky that are kind of moving around, giving it make, making a, the impression of weather going on in the in our corp. Um, we've also we're also working on a separate section of our corp. Um, so you know, so one of the alleyways that that leads back into back into the, to the, the depths of, of Area 18. It kind of doesn't lead anywhere right now, but we'll be opening that up to uh, to a new area pretty soon, so that'll be cool. Um, and fleshing out our corp Area 18 one step at a time. So um, look forward to that in the near future. So it's going to be very interesting over the next few months to see um, how ARPCOR uh, expands. Also, it will be interesting to see uh, what different amounts they come up with. Um, I'm not sure what they're thinking about, but uh, I know a useful one for me would be uh, like and uh, please subscribe. Please. This week in Around First, Ben and Sandy showed some uh, interesting concept art for the new Endeavour. I'm wondering what they're seeing there. Um, this is the Endeavour, our upcoming science ship currently in development. We gave our backers a little sneak preview of it at Dragon Con. This is not the finished version of the ship, but we're getting close. Uh, we're developing the different pods, making a few changes to the front section. And uh, once that's done, along with the design for all of our different science options, we'll be uh, putting it out in the uh, site. So keep watching. I heard fishing instead of finishing. With a Now, if you're a subscriber, this month's subscriber flair in your hangar now from the Puglashi collection is Vastly Fragment Stone. Now, basically, uh, this was dug up from the Krasi ruins on Terra, and it's basically uh, like a Rosetta Stone, which uh, could uh, help to uh, translate the ancient language of the ancient civilization of the Quasi. On the RSI website, if you're a subscriber or concierge member, you can check out the new community hub. Now this is going to be released to everybody uh, when they've fixed a few little uh, glitches and bug fixes. Uh, basically the community hub is a place to uh, post your uh, community content. 
videos, art, stories, Twitch streams, YouTubes. Yes, I posted a video on there. I don't think anyone watched it, but still. So uh, that's going to be another place to uh, check out in the future. Chris Roberts has just done 10 for the chairman. And uh, this is one of the interesting questions put to Chris this week. The drop of AC 2.0 multi-crew mayhem see the addition of a few more maps to play in. Or will the existing two be expanded? First of all, I think we're sort of um, starting to well, we're not starting to, we've sort of decided that it's not really Arena Commander uh, that we're dropping. We're dropping sort of multi-crew, which is really, you know, we, we've been calling it SC Alpha for a while, but LC, SC Alpha, as we drop with the multi-crew, will have Arena Commander inside it, it will have Star Marine inside it, it will have the social planet side as, inside it. Plus, you'll be playing on a brand new map, so uh, I think I've talked about this before, it's a large world map, it's, it's uh, much, 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 much bigger than the Arena Commander maps, which uh, I think are limited to about 8 or 10 kilometers in diameter. Um, and this map is uh, hundreds of thousands or millions of kilometers in size, so it's, you know, you know, geometrically larger by a long way. Uh, and, uh, you know, we've sort of set it in sort of, uh, you know, it's not... It's set up to be more like the position universe, so it's not meant to be a simulation the way that Arena Commander itself is, and you know, which is a bit more gamey. This, uh, you know, you are going to basically spawn on a space station like you saw in the Gamescom demo, and um, you'll be able to go to different uh, panels and say, oh, I want to call up uh, this ship from my account, and say you want a constellation. So then I'll say, oh, you know, constellation is on landing pad three, and then you can go over to landing pad three. It will be keyed only for you to use. Once you've used it, your other friends can come and join you, and you can take off from landing pad three. We're going to have a safe zone around the starting uh, space station, and uh, you know, it'll be a space station along the lines of what you saw in uh, Gamescom, uh, but with more stuff and more additions. Uh, and then there will be other areas you can go and explore. So there'll be other space stations, other moons, asteroid fields, uh, there's sort of communication satellites that you'll be able to sort of hack into and, and uh, get information and destinations you can go and fly. And there'll be areas that you can go and salvage stuff, reclaim stuff. There's, uh, some, uh, there's a couple of asteroid, uh, there's a couple of space stations uh, you know, there's some stuff that you can go and uh, you know have PvP fights inside on foot as well as flying in ships. Uh, there'll be weapons you'll be able to salvage and scavenge. Um, so it's going to be kind of fun. It's actually going to be kind of a mini little game um, and uh, much more free form and allow a lot of things for for players to do. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a pretty big map. Got a lot more stuff in than any of our other stuff has. Uh, and so there'll be a fair amount of stuff for people to do. Um, so we're kind of interested to see what happens. I mean, there'll be there'll be lots of uh, there'll be AI and random AI encounters you can go and find and sort of have a more single player experience. But there'll also be uh, you know certain areas where it's okay to fight other players and then you can you know have at it. So uh, yeah, it's just going to be kind of a fun free form experience. And like I said, it's sort of like our version of the test kitchen of. Uh, the persistent universe, and it's where we'll start to roll out new functionality and new testing. Um, you know, we get mineable asteroids happening with the voxel tech we want to work on. Then, and put asteroids out there you could go mine, and would have that happening. You want to have a cargo mission from A to B; those things would start to happen or spawn on here. Uh, so that's what we're calling our large world map, um, Crusader. Uh, is I think the name of the map. Uh, basically, it's sort of based around the gas giant of Crusader. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll actually probably, instead of doing new maps for this one, we'll just keep on adding points of interest. Because we're on a large world map, so the thing's you know, massive. I mean, you know, it can be a billion kilometers, a couple billion kilometers across. So uh, we can keep on adding new points of interest that you can quantum to. Um, you know, there'll be places where you can repair your ship. There'll be places where you can refuel. So yeah, big difference between Arena Commander and what, what we're calling SC Alpha. Um, and then, you know, obviously we just start expanding that because then at some point we'll let you go down and land on the planet and then you'll be on the planet side of, uh, location like you've been seeing in a, a Art Corp, but you know, you're able to buy and sell stuff and then you'll be able to take off and go to other places. And, and that's pretty much sort of the, uh, you know, the basic uh, Star Citizen game cycle and we just keep adding more functionality more locations and then we'll open up to jump points and go on from there. So uh, it's going to be cool. Well, things are going to get much, 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 much bigger for Star Citizen in the months ahead. 
Well, please don't forget to check out the full 10 for the chairman around the verse and all the other um, videos from Cloud Imperium Games on their YouTube channel and on the RSI website. Scanning. Well, thank you very much for watching once again and uh, please don't forget to like and let me know what you think as well. Also, if you'd like to subscribe, that would really mean a lot to me. Anyway, I'm going to grab myself another drink. So until next time, cheers.